Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. I can't my camera's on the bunk and I'm not sure why. Oh, sorry, cushions aren't right. Um, yeah, just thought I'd come on, show you what I finished making and a whip and yeah, a couple of jumpers I've brought. Um, that's with the last of the birthday money Mark gave me. Oh, I'll be glad to go to the hairdressers on Monday. I still want to grow it, but the fringe is starting to annoy me and it just needs, you know, it's sort of sort out. So that would be that. Uh, had our feet done yesterday, so that was really nice. A bit of family time. So I've got nice red toes for the Christmas season. So hopefully I just will get out and about. I probably won't see my feet because it'll be cold, so they'll be covered up. But who knows, I might, you know, wear a pair of jeans and open toe shoes. Who knows? It depends how warm where we're going is. Um, yeah, so I've just had another appointment through. This is for my blood, but it's now every, this is three weeks since my last one. So hopefully we're getting back on track. But as I keep on saying that in my videos, oh yeah, my blood's getting back on track and then I have it done again and it goes to pot. So, um, who knows? I'm filming this, uh, Friday morning, I think, is it the 17th today? Yeah, 17th. So I was just trying to work out from something I've done and something I'm due to do. So I'm sure it's the 17th today. And it's a lovely sunny day, but it is rather nippy out. I've just gone and taken like some recycling out and I was quite glad to get packing doors. It's rather fresh out. Um, yeah, so yeah, blood seems to be all right. Um, lupus had a, is sort of flaring up and down. I've had a few days where I've just been a bit achy and stuff like that. So I'm just sort of pacing myself. And my mission for today, I'm sorry to anybody that doesn't like Christmas or isn't a Christmas fan like me. My mission later on today, after my food's been delivered, which um, I have delivered normally between one and two because um, it's just a good time for me. So once that's delivered and I've had some lunch, I plan to write out my Christmas cards. I know, I know it's only the 17th of November, but um, I just, I've got to try and fit it in around my doctor's appointments and other stuff. So, and then there's people that um, I haven't got their address for. We only, um, because we live in the same town, um, we swap them when we go to our craft club. Well, they're right at the beginning of December, so I thought I might as well just write them all. I actually gave one to my friend yesterday because I haven't got her address, and we normally swap them by hand anyway. I know I could ask for her address, but... Um, and, of course, I won't see her now until the New Year. So, yeah, you get people... I know I'm not the only person like that, that you only see people certain times so you have to do it there and then if you haven't got their address so like my friends that live where I live um I can't walk all the way around for um where I live <laughs> um delivering Christmas cards um uh, so yeah so <laughs> yeah they have to be hand delivered so I thought I'd get on and do that sure you didn't want to hear about that I rabbited on there I was having a real good ramble so I apologize <laughs> it's um it's only 5 to 11 and I'm in a real funny mood. Um, well, a good mood, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I had, I don't know if I said last week, but I've had, um, been having Lexi here and there, so that's been quite nice. A um, little bit of time with her, girly time with my mum. Yeah, I can't wait for us to go to um, Portsmouth. Um, it's going to be a really nice day out, so... Um, Gonna have to speak ni nicely to a friend to have Lexi for the day. Um, just trying to think of anything else. Don't think much has happened since last week. Um, so I think I'll show you the non-crochet stuff first. So I think I showed, yeah, I did. I showed you a pink jumper that I got when I went to Bath from the Edinburgh Woolen Mill, and I mentioned that. Um, they had a red one and um had some money left over from what Mark gave me and I did oops I got the red one but I thought oh these are like that chenille they are so soft I did order a blue jumper in a different design but it really didn't suit me and 
even though it's a blue it just wasn't the right sort of blue it made me look a bit washed out so I've got to take that back somewhere so yes I've got a nice red jumper they're a cowl neck because I don't like anything um too high up around my neck so I've only got a short neck so yes I've got a nice red one if you like them Edinburgh Woolen Mill they are 30 pounds um and they are really nice and if you've got short arms like me they're perfect so yes I've got a nice red jumper from the Edinburgh Woolen Mill so it'd be nice to wear over Christmas but it'd just be giving me some colour over the winter and then I had to get a Christmas jumper. I've already got one, but it's quite a thick one. So sometimes, you know, like when you go out the, um, and during the winter, they have everything so hot, which is great. So yeah, I got myself a Christmas jumper and it's got like these, I'm trying to show it, the um, like blingy bits on. And it says, because I don't know if it'll show up too well, deck the halls and then it's got some holly. And this was from... M and Co. I had a five pound off voucher, so those are my couple of new purchases, and then I now have to be good because I don't really, I can't see the point of me buying stuff like that before Christmas because, uh, sorry, my nose. I don't think I've got a cold. I think my allergies are flaring up. Um, you know, coming up to Christmas, buying stuff for yourself just seems a bit daft. <laughs> when you know when hopefully you're lucky enough to get something uh yeah so that's that and then on to my finished makes oh hold on i'll show you this first so I, last week i showed you a hat that i made for a christmas present and then i've made this scarf this won't be um this will be going on ebay for sale it was going to go with the hat but the size of the hat didn't quite work out so it ended up being a present for somebody so not a total loss so i'm going to try giving this scarf a go on ebay if it doesn't sell then i'll keep it from you know christmas present next year sorry i know planning ahead for next year but you know it won't go to waste it'll get given to somebody someone if it doesn't sell and it's the zeppelin pattern from universal yarns it's a free pattern and it i've done it with i've done it with what cakes were they so like an aran white so i've done it with that and this was done with james c bet marble chunky i want to say color 42 but i'm not sure it'll be in one of my videos where i've mentioned the label i think i mentioned it last week when i was showing the hat so yeah, I finished that and added some tassels, um, as that's what the pattern calls for. And it really does suit this sort of scarf. And I love how the colours have come out on that. And then I had a little bit left over, so I thought I'd make one of my scrappy black, scrappy bags, not blags, bags. And I've lined it. My sewing isn't that great. I'm trying to improve on that. So that... Uh, this will be going off, um, this will be a Christmas present for a friend. Um, yeah, so, and then I just added some lace around the top and just put a little bow on there just to give it a little something. So, yeah, and plus covered, cover up where I overlapped the lace. So, yes, little bag I've done. And at the moment I'm working on, oh, this is going to be for the border because I'm using up some scraps um a charity i support um they like lap blankets they help our um like for the um our i can't think of the uh, it sounds awful but you know the elderly homes they um they like lap blankets for the residents there so i'm just using up some yarn i've got and it'd just be a small lap blanket it's like my scrappy blankets but all one color it's an Aran weight, but I'm using two strands together because it's quite a thin Aran. It's a King Cole one that I've had for ages, so I haven't got the labels anymore. I've taken them off. Um, that I get like from the local surplus store. So I'm doing, what's it? Brain's gone blank. 
I know it, but it's the words aren't coming out. Sorry, I'm having one of my brain fogs. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, it's um, UK half treble, which I think is American half DC. The border I'll do DC in UK terms, which is single American. So I haven't got that much more to go, so it'll just be a little lap blanket. So hopefully next week I can show you that. And then I have... Um, couple of shawls to do um i want to do another virus shawl because i haven't done one of them for a while and i've got another full ball of this and a cream one this is um style craft special dk so i've got another lemon one and a cream so i'll make a little baby's blanket for the same charity as they're always asking for blankets um and I've got a couple of orders and stuff to do. Some of the orders I've done, I can't actually show on here because, um, you know, I don't want to risk who it's for seeing it. So I've had to keep that stuff sort of hidden. And stupidly, I didn't take any pictures of it to show in videos or video it. So I apologise for that. Um... But I can say what they were, because the people won't know. Oh no, I can't. No, never mind. So yeah, so I've done a few presents and a few orders and stuff, but I haven't been able to share them on my video or Facebook, because you just, um, I don't want to risk the people finding out before Christmas, and stupidly I didn't take pictures. So yeah, I've been quite busy really on making stuff um, here and there. So... I'm going to love you and leave you all and I will see you next week somewhere. So yeah, just a short little video this week. So I'm just going to put this over there and I will see you all soon. So take care. Bye.